Well, my view is polarized. I mean, I look at uh, the president and I give him an A on policy. I give him an A on appointments. I love the people he's picked in every Betsy DeVos, uh, uh, Scott Pruitt, uh, at the military side, uh, uh, Rex Tillerson. I, I love those people. I think they're great. So I give him an A there. I give him an A on the morale of the business community and the morale in the country, the spirit of the country, uh, the uh, consumer confidence, uh, the, the uh, new salaries for kids getting out. There's an air of confidence. Now when you leave that, I can go on and point out Gorsuch and, and the appeals court and all these things that I love about what he's doing. I love where he's going, if he could get there. Now I go to management of a bureaucracy. I give him a D minus and I'm being an easy grader here. Uh, the firing of Comey, I don't want to argue whether Comey should have been thrown out or not. But clearly, you don't fire him the way Trump fired him. Uh, we teach at our school that we uh, talk about all the time on the set. Right. Uh, love him on the way out as much as you loved him on the way in. Love him on the way out as much as you loved him when you found him. Because sometimes you don't bring him in. Uh, a, a severance dollar is the cheapest dollar you'll ever spend. And know that. Because otherwise, you, there'll be customers. There'll be recommendations. There'll be all these things if they go out as... So is the memo leak a consequence of not loving him on the way out as he loved him on the way in? Well, that's one of them. Okay. Clearly, you don't make any friends doing it the way he did it. There's going to be retribution. It's a, it's a minor leak. It's, it's a rookie mistake. I mean, it's a clear well, rookie that, mistake. That, that's... The issue I was going to get to next is, is so he's an outsider, no political experience. You're going to, there's going to be mistakes like this. Is that what it is, or is there a malevolence involved in 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 all this? Is is there an, is it is well, it? Let me evil continue one? why okay, he got go a D. Let me continue why he got a D. A D minus. All right. All right. Um, you you got a team. You have got a White House team. You got to give Obama credit. There was no trouble in that team he had. He had that team around him. They spoke with one voice. You have to have a team. You have to set the mission. He set a great mission. Make America great again. Get jobs back. Strong military. Lead the, the country. He had the mission. Now you align the troops around the mission. And everybody buys it. If they don't get on the bus, throw them the hell off the bus. Get them out. Don't fool with resistors. Don't hang. Why he's letting these people that are leaking everything hang around? I mean, it's crazy management. Should he have known that as a business leader or is political leadership different? No, I think he was an entrepreneur who ran his own shop and he never ran a bureaucracy, in my opinion. If you run a bureaucracy, they're, they're in the weeds, they're behind the desk, they're whispering in the cool water cooler, you got to nail them and get them the hell out of there. And he didn't do that. He had, he had a family business. He ran it beautifully. Did, did, in the end, he was very successful. But you can't keep doing that. Uh, communication skills. You got to get your communications team all together with you, and they got to live with you. So there's, everybody gets the same message. Everybody speaks with one tongue. It's, this is crazy. He says one thing, they say something else, and the press has a party. And look, he, he's a victim of throwing mud in the press's eye for a year. Now, if you, you show up at every rally and you're pointed out as a bum and all those things out there, crook, you, you call it, and then you go home and you get the ink, Man, I'm going to get you when you get down here. That's, that's the story. Yeah. And now you've got these little things, Russia. The Russian thing, they made that up in the, in the uh, convention because Hillary had the uranium mess and, and, and poor Flynn, he, he, maybe he met with a Russian somewhere in the night or I don't know, but he got 35000 or $40,000 per speech. Bill Clinton got 500000 
for an hour from the Iranian-related folks, and they got over tens of millions of dollars to the foundation, and then they approved the Iranian deal. So, I mean, come on. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.